everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create, and we're working on page six, page six. So we have two flaps, and I call it a flip flop flap, because <laughs> it's gonna, it's kind of like an accordion. Um, it's gonna go one way and then the other. So we're gonna start with a flap that is six and a half inches tall, and it's eight and a half inches across, and you're gonna score a half inch on the eight and a half inch side, and it's going to get installed, centered, right here and I haven't put my center mark so we're gonna come this is six and a half so we need to mark it at three and a quarter three and a quarter and then this uh, needs to be marked at four inches that's right there now I'm gonna put it back right side up so this flap is gonna get installed just like so Okay, just like so. And then, looks like I need to trim that a little. I'll do that in a few minutes. Now, the next thing we're gonna do is an install a flap this way. And this is gonna get centered, and I already put my marks here. So this six and a half by seven, six and a half by seven, you're gonna score a half inch on the seven inch side. So you have a finished six and a half by six and a half. We're gonna center it on top of the flap that is laying on, that is already down. I'm going to line up my tick mark. And press that into place. Okay, there we go. Now we're going to need two sets of magnets. We're going to put a set here and a set here. So let's get started. Oh, sorry, I keep forgetting to turn off my little desk fan. I will try to get that out of the audio. Hopefully it's not too annoying for you guys. It's just stinking hot here. <laughs> I'm, I'm suffering with the humidity. I had um, recently got my hair cut, and usually I'm really finicky about it being long enough that I can still get it in a ponytail. Well, <laughs> somehow we missed the mark there, so I can't get it. I can't get it to stay on my face. It's just a little bit too long. Hopefully I won't have to wait too long for it to grow out long enough to reach. And I'm, I can't stand a headband. It gives me a headache. So I'm just struggling in this heat. All right, now I'm gonna put the opposing magnet over here. Then we're gonna decorate. And I think I have everything uh, for the A-sides ready to go. So we should be able to launch right into this. I don't even need to pause. <laughs> okay, there we go. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is lay down the pattern that I have for the base. And it is from the 8x8 collection pack. This is so pretty, so soft. Okay, and I'm gonna close this. And then I've got this pattern that's gonna go on this six and a half by six and a half. Let's go ahead and add that. upside down but they're not okay so now I've chosen this bird that's going to go on the inside and then I'm going to take a sliver 
to go right here. And I think I'm going to measure the slip. I did it the opposite way on the previous page or on page six, so it would have been page three. And I do think it's going to be easier to measure what you need to trim off the edge. And then just, then you've got this whole piece to hold into the trimmer. I tried to do it um, the other way where I trimmed this piece first and then added it. And I wound up having to trim this just a little bit. It was really hard to hold it in the trimmer. Okay. And it's going to go right there. Look at that. Perfect. I'm going to add a little uh, ink, although not much of it's going to show. There we go. I got a little too much ink on the edge, so I just smeared in the middle and spread it or spread it out. Okay, there we go. And I want this to go slightly under that lip because I don't want it to peel up when I open the um, flap. Okay, perfect. Now we have this and we can mark it to fit. Looks like I need to take a 16th inch off and this is gonna be much easier to handle. Let's see, how did I do? Well, I think we did, I think we did it. So we'll ink the edge we trimmed and lay it down. And then I do have to take a break to get the B-sides lined up. And I'll show you what I mean in a moment. I'm also gonna sneak off and turn on the air for a while. <laughs> while I'm not recording. Okay. I'm sure to all you guys that get really bad weather, I sound like a bit, bit of a crybaby. The temperature's not that high. Yeah, it's high 80s, but it's the darn humidity. I'm trying to keep the humidity low in the house is what's killing me. That and my helmet hair, holding all the heat in. Okay. There we go, that is lovely. Okay, when I come back, we will cover the B-sides. And before I go, I'll just flip through this one more time. Oh, might as well go ahead and put this on. So this is one of the six by six cut aparts. I'm gonna use it as a feature here. This was just too pretty to let go to waste. Okay, that's going to go there. And then I'll go through the mechanism. So you'll see we still need this B side and this B side. Okay, so when I come back, we will cover those two elements and that'll be the end of it for page six. Back soon. Okay, everyone, I've got the B sides lined up for page six. So I've chosen uh, this simple pattern to go here. It looks like I didn't ink it. Sorry about that. So we'll go ahead and do that real quick. And it's pulling this blue back in. I don't even know why I bother. that make sure it adheres around the magnet there looks good there we go 
Okay, now we are going to do the last piece, the large flap. I chose this simple pattern. I think it looks lovely. And this is from the A4. So was the last piece, A4. Uh, no, patterns pack. Sorry, patterns pack. Is that right? No, this is from the A4. Sorry about that. Both of them are, I think, from the A4. The A4, the back side of all the A4s are cut apart. And I was just double checking the scale of the cut apart. So there we go. And that, ladies, gentlemen, is the end, page six. Page six. This is so pretty. I love the bicycle. Okay, guys, I'll be back soon with the rest of the album.